From the CISO series, it's cybersecurity headlines. It's Tuesday, March 7th, 2023. Police disrupt Doppelpamer. Europol announced that law enforcement in both Germany and Ukraine coordinated to take down core members of the ransomware organization. This saw multiple raids across the two countries in February, leading to the arrest of two targeted individuals. German police believe Doppelpamer's ransomware operations use five core members to maintain infrastructure and handle negotiations. Police issued warrants for the other three named members, all of which show some connection to Russia. Doppelpamer emerged on the ransomware scene in 2019. Europol reports it found 37 confirmed attacks on organizations by the group. U.S. victims paid an estimated $42.4 million between May 2019 and March 2021. EPA releases cybersecurity notice for water systems. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency released an advisory warning that water systems in the U.S. are increasingly vulnerable to cyber attacks coming from both cyber criminal and state affiliated actors. The Biden administration announced it would make it mandatory for states to conduct security audits on these systems. The EPA already released guides to security audits for these systems and will provide technical support for future assessments. The advisory also included public disclosure of three recent ransomware attacks on water systems in California, Maine, and Nevada, including one where threat actors compromised a system used to control SCADA industrial controls. Cloud exploitation on the rise. A new report from CrowdStrike found overall cloud exploitation against organizations increased 95% on the year, with cases involving cloud-conscious threat actors nearly tripling. Overall, the report confirmed recent findings that attackers continued to increase efficiency with breakout time down 15% in the year to just 84 minutes. Overall, the report found 71% of attacks are malware-free. Unsurprisingly, the report found that social engineering tactics also increased on the year, particularly targeted around getting around SMS-based multi-factor authentication with things like SIM swapping. WhatsApp agrees to more privacy transparency. The popular meta-owned messaging app caused itself an undue amount of trouble when it introduced a new privacy policy back in 2021. This new policy outlined how WhatsApp would share business user data with Facebook. However, many people read this to mean all user data would be shared with Meta's social network. As a result, the European Commission and the Consumer Protection Cooperation Network sent a letter to WhatsApp in 2022 asking the service to ensure users understand what policies they're actually agreeing to. WhatsApp announced it would follow some of the letter's recommendations, including giving users the ability to reject policy changes, prominently display new terms, and explaining how these would impact a user's rights. These changes will only come to the EU for now. Meta did not say if it plans to bring it to other markets, including the U.S. And now a word from our sponsor, Packet Labs. Struggling to justify cybersecurity investments to decision makers? Meet Rosie, the superhero of cybersecurity investments. Calculate your return on security investment to quantify the value of prevention and save money by avoiding cybersecurity breaches. Rosie builds synergies between your business, security, and finance teams, bringing everyone together. Download our free buyer's guide to learn the Rosie formula, how to reduce cyber insurance premiums, and what to look for in a provider. Visit CISO.PacketLabs.net and unleash the power of Rosie in your C-suite decisions today. China creates data store agency. China's National People's Congress approved the creation of the new agency, which will centralize management of data storage in the country. The Wall Street Journal sources say this would make it the top regulator for data-related issues. Right now, multiple ministries share overlapping oversight. The agency would rule on foreign data exports, set data collection rules for businesses, and investigate use of algorithms. Federal agencies improperly used cell site simulators. This finding comes from the Department of Homeland Security's Office of the Inspector General. The OIG found that the U.S. Secret Service and Immigration and Customs Enforcement did not always follow federal statutes and privacy policies when using stingrays and other devices used to decoy cell towers. The public report largely redacts statistical data on usage, so we don't get a clear picture how pervasive the agencies use these. These agencies are supposed to get a court order for using cell site simulators, except under exigent circumstances. The report found it failed to do that. The OIG issued six recommendations to guide the agencies in better following its legal and policy obligations, but likely legislative action would be needed to meaningfully improve the situation. 
new tools to simulate attacks on ML systems. Microsoft and MITRE announced a new tool called Arsenal, designed to let researchers explore adversarial tactics against machine learning systems. Arsenal operates as a plugin for MITRE's adversarial threat landscape for artificial intelligence system framework. Microsoft will use its counterfeit automation tool to run AI security risk assessments and feed these into future adversarial attack profiles. Right now, the tool operates using limited publicly available information, but Microsoft and MITRE plan to expand this with new techniques based on what they see in the wild. Dark Web Market Leaks Millions of Payment Cards The card-swapping marketplace Bidencast released information on over 2.1 million payment cards for free. This follows similar leaks in June and October when it released over 1.2 million cards. Flashpoint reports that about 70% of these cards expire sometime in 2023, with half the cards belonging to U.S.-based users. The leak includes full payment card information, as well as anything needed to further fish these users, like names, addresses, emails, and phone numbers. While Biden Cash only appeared online in the last year, it's quickly become one of the top card trading markets. Now that you're done with the headlines, be sure to look out for the latest episode of the CISO series podcast, titled, We're Experts at Telling You to Fix Your Problems. The episode digs into why vendors often speak about solutions that provide visibility into an environment when security folks on the ground want a way to take action or even just automate it away. Look for it in your podcast app of choice or just head on over to CISOseries.com. I'm Rich Straffolino, reporting for the CISO Series. Cybersecurity headlines are available every weekday. Head to CISOseries.com for the full stories behind the headlines. Thank you.